it's Christmas and I am here to make Christmas crack. We have to use saltine crackers. So they freak me out. It's just a childhood thing. All right, let me just say I hate crackers. I hate crackers. I think that's why it's called Christmas crack or maybe it's because it's hard and you crack it. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna line our tray. All lined. That was hard. All you need for this recipe is crackers, brown sugar, butter, chocolate chips, and some kind of topping. Nuts, or I guess you could sprinkle whatever you want to sprinkle, I don't know, on top. You're supposed to use one sleeve per two sticks of butter and one cup of brown sugar. I'm not liking the rigidity of this. Okay, these crackers are giving me like, they're giving me like the shakes. I hate looking at them, I hate touching them. <laughs> I hate smelling them. I think something very traumatic happened to me as a child involving crackers. I don't know. Something like this, right? So I'm missing one. There's one man out. How is there an uneven amount of crackers? What's going on? I don't know what happened, but we have one e uneven cracker. Let's start over here. So I'm going to go ahead and double my recipe. I'm going to go ahead and get the other part going. Bring it right over here. Hi, we're back. All right, I've got my pan. Now I have this on medium. I'm gonna add two cups of butter and two cups of brown sugar. Okay, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be dark brown or light brown sugar. I only have light brown, so it is what it is. Let's pop that in. We're gonna let this start cooking until it comes to a, a simmer or a bubble, a boil. Once it does come to a boil, we're gonna set a timer for three minutes and not stir it at all at that point. We'll come back here and you can watch me finish. Look at that, that's the fur from my sweater. These crackers are giving me the shakes and I'm not kidding. I don't know what it is. When I was a little, little, little tiny girl, I used to go with my mom to the Lutheran church and they used to pass around these little crackers. I don't know what they were. I've since understood that they're not these, but I don't know if that's why it's a, it's a freaky it's just a freaky i just don't like them and when i would hear we were going to eat the body and drink the blood oh my gosh i was terrified and you know what i don't even think i had to do it because i was a kid but just hearing that was so terrifying and i'm almost wondering if that's why i hate crackers i don't like any crackers so i have avoided making this for a long time since i've been seeing it when i broke down this time i've got about a batch and a half which is fine. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes, sister. Three minutes. Three minutes and do not touch the bubble. Don't stir it. Don't look at it. Don't touch it. Don't nothing. So I'm just going to stand here. Perfect. Perfecto. Ooh, this smells like caramel corn. It smells good. Okay. You just spread this caramel. Ooh, it smells so good. This smells like caramel corn. I used to make caramel corn and take my kids to the drive-in movies. Okay. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for five minutes and we'll be right back to finish it up. Three, two, one. That's Alexa. We're gonna do some white because I'm gonna get fancy. And then the rest will be the chocolate. Let's, let's let these get nice and melty. I'm so excited, I can't wait. I get to spread all the chocolate around. In just a second here. Ooh, it's melty. Let's do the white first. I screwed it up. Darn it. Maybe it's the chocolate. Darn it. I screwed up with the white chocolate. Whatever you do, do not use white chocolate. Look at that. Look at that smooth. See that? Don't use white chocolate. White chocolate, man. You know? Ooh, look at that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some nuts to this. And then we've got marshmallows. I don't know if this is gonna be a bad idea, but I wanna give this to my grandkids and they love marshmallows. And the last layer I have flavor is peppermint. I have a candy cane that I crushed up. Oh, there it is. Now we have to let it cool. We'll come back and, and let you see how it all cracks up. That was dorky. I put this outside on my 40 degree porch. It's looking so beautiful. I think it's hard. Look, it's hard. You can crack it. Oh, there it is. There's the pieces. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. 
for a minute. Let's do the sample one. I have pretzels. Okay. Let me try this one first. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is good. Here's the crack. There it is. Here's the crack. The Kraken. The Christmas crack. Oh my gosh. I've literally been delaying this because of the crackers in it. You can't even taste. I mean, I was worried about that. <laughs> this is so easy to make and so delicious. This is not just for Christmas, okay? This is for any time of the year crack. Mmm. Okay, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I put it on pretzels. <laughs> it's really good. This tastes like a cookie, like a Twix, or better. Like crack.